Hey family, today we're going to talk about Does God the Father Love You? And I thought this was an interesting video to make because, you know, a lot of people say, you know, God the Father, He He's not so loving like Jesus. He's not a person who who loves like Jesus and Jesus was the one who loves. And Jesus showed us His love and God in the Old Testament showed us His terrible, His terrible things that He told us to do. He's cruel. Just want to express that when Satan was cast out of heaven, the first thing that he did was he tried to destroy the character of God. And he attacked God in many ways. And how did he try to destroy the character of God? Well, he told Adam and Eve, well, he told Adam that God was a liar. When he told them, thou shalt not surely die. So basically he's saying that God is a liar there. So. He's attacking the character of God. So I wanted to make this video to tell you that God the Father does love you. He's just as loving as Jesus. He's not less loving. As a matter of fact, the Bible tells us a few Bible verses that speaks of His love for us. And you know, God is not just a God of love. God is a God of justice too, just like your parents. They love you, but when you're doing bad in school, it's time to be punished. It's time to it's time to get things taken away. That's justice. But they still love you. And just because they'll punish you, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. Most people just look at the justice side of God and they don't look at the love. Or most people just look at the love and they don't look at the justice. So here we're gonna look, we're gonna look at both sides, and we already know that God is justice. You understand? We already know that God is love. But does God love you? Well, I'm gonna I'm show you a few verses that show us that God does love you. We got the famous verse, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So here it gives us a characteristic of God's love for us, an aspect of God's love for us, where it says that he loved the world so much that he gave his only son. Now, the question is, if someone was about to die and they said that you have to give your son so that person won't die, would you do it? I'm gonna let you think about that. Would you do it? Of course not. No, you wouldn't. But God so loved us that He did do it and He did give His only Son and that He sent His Son here to die. This is a full demonstration of love and there is no other love like this. I'm telling you, this is full love. Ephesians 2, verse, chap, verses 4 to 5. Ephesians 2, 4 and 5. It says, But God, being rich in mercy because of his great love, which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made alive together with Christ by the grace which you have been saved. God loved us so much that when we was dead in our trespasses, dead in our trespasses, he gave Jesus Christ to us. We got 1 John 3, 1. What kind of love the Father has given us that we should be called the children of God <clears throat> So we are. The reason why the world doesn't know us is that they don't know Him. God loved us so much that we're called the children of God. He allowed us to become His children. We got no business being God's children because we're evil. But God allowed us to become His children by the power of His changing and the renewing of His Spirit and His grace. 1 John 4, 9-11. to 1 John chapter 4, 9-11. to And this is the love of God. It was manifested among us that God sent His only Son to the world so that we might live through Him in this love, not that we love God, but He loved us first. And we have His Son to be propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we should also love one another. So there we see the love of God. How is the love of God shown to us? because God sent His only Son to die for us on the cross so that we may become the children of God, be saved, and that He can be propitiation for us. So is God a God of hatred, of malice, of terribleness? Does God hate you? No. God the Father loves you so much that Jesus Christ was sent so that you can live and not die. God bless, brothers.